<laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Iberia. And this is your top five, and you're doing too much moments of the week. What's up? I missed y'all. Oh, man. Did y'all miss me too? <laughs> or is this a one-sided relationship? I'm not here for it. Absolutely not here for it. But anyway, y'all, it is time for the top five you doing too much moments of the week. And oh my God, there's just so much. There's always so much. I literally had somebody last week inbox me and say, where did you find your content? Like, is it difficult to find these videos? I was like, no, sir, this is me. This is all I got to do. Right here, scroll. I'm just scrolling up the Facebook feed and literally one, two, three, four, five. And we ready for the next week. It's just that simple. Seriously. Because there's so many people in the world that are doing way too much. Oh my God. Okay, but before we get into this week's top five, you're doing too much moments of the week. I've got to clear something up from last week. So last week, number five on the list was a wedding and a funeral. Yes, y'all. They literally had a wedding and a funeral at the same time. Or at least that's what we thought. But I recently learned that it was not a wedding and a funeral. It was a wedding themed funeral. It's still too much. <laughs> In my opinion. But listen, I didn't lose a young lady you know, condolences to the family. We're not talking about that. But, it, you know, it was literally... And then, you know, when people start bringing you into the, the strangeness, can I just be keep it real? Then I'm trying to figure it out. I'm like, well, if it's a wedding theme, why is she in the pink dress and not the white dress? Why isn't she the bride and not the... And was she the bridesmaid? I don't know. And I don't think we should talk about it anymore because that was last week and this is this week. So let's move on. Number five on this week's top five, you doing too much. I've titled it. Can I ask you something? What's wrong with people? Why is this a thing? I mean, I don't want the act of me getting my hair done to be a matter of life or death. I don't understand. Why is that a thing? What? I don't and we're moving just because that one I think that one, that one made me mad a little bit on the inside and we're moving number four on the top five you doing too much list and you guys don't forget to put in the comments what you think about these crazy videos number four shall we move listen y'all I think I'd rather have the middle seat Y'all, this is a sensitive one. And you'll notice, I try to be sensitive, you know, even though we're, we're kind of talking about and, and sharing our own opinions on other people's issues, I still try to be sensitive and not be just mean and rude, you know. But ma'am, and I understand, see, this is why it's sensitive, because public breastfeeding is a big deal, in America, you know, where, and, and a big deal, I mean, like, people are really offended by it. I'm not offended by public breastfeeding done appropriately, in my opinion, okay? But when you got the whole boob whipped out 
in a very small setting. I'm not saying the baby. The baby does need to be fed. I totally understand that. I totally get that. Y'all correct me if you feel I'm wrong. Fine. Go in that little bitty old bathroom. I mean, it's just about as big as the seat. You actually may have a little bit more room up in there and just sit up in there and feed your baby. Okay? Okay, maybe you can't do that. The baby's hungry. You don't want to move them. Whatever the situation. Baby, cover up a little bit. I've seen though. Put a little towel. A little something. You know? And, you know, beyond that. So, it, it really wasn't. It really wasn't just the breastfeeding that bothered me. It was her complete insensitivity, insensitivity to the gentleman next to her. <laughs> okay, was that not hilarious? Listen, he had the water bottle in the mouth because he had no place to be. This brother in this moment had such a horrible flashback of when he had to choose his seat. And he said, you know what? I'm going to get the window seat. I don't want to sit in the middle seat. In that moment, he said, I know, I know he said it in his heart. Man, I'd rather have the window seat. I know that's what he said. I mean, you saw the elbow. Look, he had the whole elbow. He had no room. She cared. She gave no, she gave two, if I could cuss, poops. <laughs> he gave she gave two poops about him and i understand it's about the baby and i know i'm gonna get some kickback from some mothers out there that you know are like pro breastfeeding and i am if if and when god blesses me blesses me with my own child i will breastfeed but it will be decently if i'm out in public everybody's not here for it that's all i'm saying so sis from my heart to yours you, you was doing too much Okay, on this plane, this little baby plane. Listen, get your life, but get it in the bathroom. Or with a little cover-up. That's all we saying. Feed the baby. Did, did y'all see the... Did y'all... Where the water bottle? <laughs> I wish I had a water bottle. <laughs> he had the water bottle in the mouth. Poor thing. And we're moving. Okay, number three. I just titled this one... Why? Why? Just why? Where was you going? Isn't that, isn't that the, the question? Where was you going? It's the first question that comes to mind. I think about myself when I come across that bridge because that bridge is right in Milwaukee. Y'all know where them ships come up and through and that, that uh, bridge goes up. And I've been at that bridge when it's going up in my car. You feel the rumblings of the bridge going up. I get a little nervous sitting in my car, like, should I be back a little bit more? There is no way in my right mind, which might be the key, that I would push past on a bike. Like, where was you going? I know. In in the person's mind, may, I, can't, I can't remember if it was a, a boy or girl. Anyhow, they, yep, yeah, you saw your, you thought you was going to fly. You thought you was going to be like, you know, on the little skateboard and them little bikes that go up on the ramp and they going to fly. They fly like through the little ramp thing and come down on the other side. No, 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 that was never going to happen. I don't understand. And I can laugh a little bit about it because the person is okay. But good Lord. Now y'all know that's doing too much. And I don't have nothing else to say about it. And we're moving. Number two on the top five you doing too much moments of the list of the week. I can't say it. 
of the week? Seriously? Seriously. You know, it's just a society that we live in. I mean, and it's just completely uh, disrespectful, distasteful, insensitive. I stand with Mel B. Like, seriously. You know, I mean, and it's just like, what kind of world do we really live in where you can be literally sitting in public being videotaped? Huh? Being videotaped and somebody, some man, feels comfortable enough to touch you inappropriately on camera. Like, I mean, it's enough to do it behind closed doors, but like you have no, like, it's it just, it's completely disrespectful. So Mel B, I'm sorry that you had to experience that. You know, Me Too is very real for a lot of people. This dude was doing absolutely too much. And I think the laughter is what was pissing me off and she moved away and then he moves forward you know, like following her along and it's funny, you know, it, it's, it's just completely just disrespectful. So, sir, sir, you were doing absolutely too much. Um, yeah, you get no respect here and we're moving. All right, guys, up next, <laughs> you know, that's my, it's one of my favorite things to do is number one. Y'all ready for number one? What in the Stephen King? Now, I don't know. This is what I heard as I was doing a little more research on it. I think she might have been trying to do a prank. I'm not sure. When I first saw it, I thought the thing was real. And she was just some. Because I've seen crazy people, honey. But I think this is a, a, a person kind of like acting out something. But the store, the people in the store are not aware of it. And as you can see, nobody really thinks this is funny. Like, she looks literally insane and i guess maybe it's funny if you're into the misery or stephen king like novels but whether if this is a real situation that happened or it's a prank it was absolutely too much ma'am a cock -a duty book huh <laughs> that's what i felt like maybe this isn't real the moment she said cock -a duty but when she screamed out book like that i said even if it's not real, it's something inside of her that I'm afraid of. I'm afraid. Sis, I'm afraid. <laughs> but not too afraid to let you know that you were doing too much. Acting or not acting, I'm not sure which it was. 
but I am sure that it was too much. Have you enjoyed this week's top five you doing too much moments? Would you like a bonus? Okay. I think I got one more for you. It won't be a video. It'll be, it'll be a picture. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just call it something really simple. That's nasty. It's just plain nasty. I think I almost threw up in my mouth. Um. That's nasty. Listen, I don't know what point. Well, I do know what point you you think that you're trying to move, to prove. But that's I mean literally as I'm reading the caption and it talks about this trans person free bleeding was the word of choice. Free bleed like y'all y'all will find a word for anything. <laughs> No, let's just call it being nasty in public. Not free bleeding. Free, I mean, free bleeding. What? That's disgusting. What point? You're trying to, like, see, this is where it's sensitive, and I almost don't even want to get into it because I don't want the whole LGBTQ community coming for me for talking about this person who is trying to prove a point that, for me, I'll just be honest, doesn't make sense. You're trying to prove a point that transgender people or transgender men also bleed. <sighs> ma'am, sir, sir, ma'am. I, I don't even want to get into it. I just, I feel a, I feel a shut up. I feel a shut up in my spirit. I'm going to just let y'all make y'all judgment on it. I'm not playing in the sandbox with you. That's all I'm saying. I'm not playing. I... Go clean up on aisle five. I mean, I... I will say this last thing and then I'm going to get off. Now, there was, there was, I saw a little while back, uh, there was a woman who put some picture up on Instagram, and a woman born biologically, a woman, put a picture up on Instagram where there was like a blood spot, blood spot in her pants. But it wasn't like, and maybe it was, but I, I mean, the way it came across, it didn't come off like she intentionally was quote unquote free bleeding and trying to prove a point. It almost seemed like she had a, um, a spill or a mess up or whatever. And whoever was in the room, I don't know, boyfriend, I don't know, best friend, mama, she was like, you know, take a picture of this real quick. I want want people to deal with the reality of what it is to be a woman or something like that. And honestly, I was I, I felt her. I knew kind of what she was saying, what she was getting at. It made sense to me. This is something else. You're not proving your point. Is all I'm got. Uh, is all I have to say. And ma'am, sir, <laughs> it is too much. All right, you guys, that's been it. This has been your top five. You doing too much moments of the week. Make sure you join me next week. Share this post, like this post, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook and on Twitter and on Instagram. Your girl Iberia is everywhere that you want to be. And until next week, you be encouraged. And y'all, don't do too much, please. Just this week.